the next topic that we will discuss is angle between two lines that is we will be given two lines and we want to find the angle between them for example this is your coordinate axis let's say this is your one of the lines and this is your second line and they are intersecting let's say this is line l1 this is line l2 we are interested in finding out the angle between them now as you know when two lines intersect how many angles do they make how many angles do they make they actually make four angles 1 2 3 and 4 but if you look closely how many different angles do they make they make two different angles because this angle and this angle are equal vertically opposite and this angle is same as this angle therefore two lines when two lines intersect they make four angles but two different angles two different angles first point now we are interested in finding out the angle between the two let's say this is the angle between the two lines if this is the angle between the two lines one could argue that this angle is also the angle between the two lines now if we look closely this angle will be 180 minus theta why because it forms linear pair so when we say angle between two lines angle between two lines there are two angles there are two angles which can be quoted if one of them is theta then the other one would be the other one would be 180 minus theta both the answers are correct because a line makes two different angles now if this is theta this will always obviously be theta and if this is 180 minus theta this is 180 minus theta therefore there are two angles which can be made when two lines intersect one of them is theta the other one is 180 minus theta now we want to find this angle okay now let's draw this is your situation let's say these are your two lines this is let's say line 2 this is line 1 this is y axis this is x axis obviously we will be given the angle of inclination of both the lines angle of inclination is what the angle which the line makes with the positive direction of x axis and anti clockwise therefore this line is making an angle theta 2 and this line is making an angle of theta 1 positive direction anti clockwise and this is the angle we are looking for this is the angle between the two lines now if you look closely how are theta theta 1 and theta 2 correlated if you look closely third point theta plus theta 2 is equal to theta 1 ex exterior angle property now we want theta therefore theta is what theta 1 minus theta 2 now if these two angles are equal their tan will also be equal if we take tan both sides we have tan theta 1 minus theta 2 therefore on the right side we see a formula in tan tan a minus b if you can remember the angle or formula tan a minus b how can we write this tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a tan b now in place of a we have theta 1 in place of b we have theta 2 therefore we can write this as tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 upon 1 plus tan theta 1 into tan theta 2 now what is tan theta 1 tan theta 1 would be what tan of the angle of inclination is called the slope therefore tan theta 1 is the slope of first line let's say m1 and tan theta 2 is what slope of the second line let's say this is m2 therefore we can write this as m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 into m2 that is if we know the 
angle of inclination of both the lines we will find their slopes first and then use this formula to find the angle between the two lines now as we have already discussed instead of theta we can also use what tan 180 minus theta because 180 minus theta is also the angle between the two lines but tan 180 minus theta is what minus tan theta therefore this is also m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 therefore tan theta can be written as minus of m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 therefore we are seeing that whether it is m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 or minus times m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 both are the angles which are acceptable to us combining both the conditions we can write tan theta equals to mod of m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 we generally quote the acute angle the angle between them is theta we generally give the answer in terms of acute angle and for that what we do is we use a mod now this will mod does what it creates a positive value therefore we will give the value of theta which is acute the other value would obviously be what 180 minus theta would be what obtuse so we can give both the answers both are correct but generally we give the value which is acute now For example, we take an example. Find the angle between the lines. Find the angle between the lines. Find the angle between the lines whose inclinations are thirty degree and 60 degrees. Now what does the question say? It is saying we have to find the angle between two lines whose inclinations are 30 and 60 that is one of the line is making an angle of 30 degree with the positive direction of x-axis the other line is making an angle of 60 degree with the positive direction of x-axis. Therefore from theta 1 we can find m1 what is the slope of this line tan 30 and what is the slope of the other line tan of 60 now, what is tan 30? 1 upon root 3. What is tan 60? Root 3. Now, we know m1 and m2. What is the formula for finding the angle between two lines? m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 into m2. We will put in the values. m1 is what? 1 upon root 3 minus root 3. m2 is root 3 upon 1 plus 1 by root 3 into root 3. If you solve this, you will take LCM and you will get 1 minus 3 upon root 3 upon root 3 and root 3 gets cancelled and you get 1 plus 1. This is minus 2 upon root 3 into 2 mod 2 and 2 gets cancelled and what does the mod do? It gives you the positive value 1 upon root 3. Therefore, tan theta is what? 1 upon root 3. Now, at what angle in tan theta do we get 1 by root 3? Theta is what? 30 degree. Therefore, this is the angle between the two lines. Angle between the two lines. These two lines intersect at which angle? 30 degree. We will take another example on this. Find the angle between the lines. Find the angle between the lines BA and BC if point A is minus 2, 1, B is 2, comma 3 and C is minus 2, minus 4. Now, Let's do this question. We have three points. Let's say we have three points. This is A. We don't have to actually draw them. This is let's say B and let's say this is C. Minus 2, minus 4. This is let's say 2, 3. And let's say this is minus 2. So, through two points we can draw a line. 
therefore there is one of the lines BA this is BA and then we have BC line we have to find the angle between these two lines we have to find this angle now we are only interested in finding out what we should know what about BA line we should know the slope of this line slope of BA and we should know the slope of BC line slope of BC line if we let's say this slope is m1 and let's say this slope is m2 if i can find out m1 and m2 i can use the formula what is the formula tan theta is what m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 this is our formula therefore we need what we need to find out m1 and m2 and what is m1 m2 it is the slope and how do we find the slope of a line whose two points are given if you can remember our formula was y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 therefore for the line ba for line ba m1 can be found out by using this formula so b is what 2 3 and what is a minus 2 1 so assuming this to be let's say x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 you can assume any of them as x1 y1 the other one is x2 y2 y2 minus y1 1 minus 2 or rather 1 minus 3 upon x2 is minus 2 minus x1 what is x1 2 therefore we get minus 2 upon minus 4 which is 1 upon 2 therefore m1 comes out to be half similarly for line bc for line bc what would be the slope m2 again we will use the same formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 this is b and what is c minus 2 minus 4 we can assume any one of them x x1 y1 the other one is x2 y2 the x2 y2 apply this formula what is y2 minus 4 minus what is y1 3 what is x2 minus 2 what is x1 minus 2 so what do we get minus 7 upon minus 4 minus and minus gets cancelled we get 7 by 4 now what do we know? We know M2 also and we know M1 also. What is left to be done? We just have to put these values in this formula. Tan theta is what? What is M1? M1 was 1 by 2 minus what is M2? 7 by 4 upon 1 plus M1 into M2. Take LCM. We get 4 as LCM. Therefore, 2 minus 7 upon we have 1 upon 7 by 8. So this comes out to be minus 5 by 4 and if you take the LCM in the denominator 8 plus 7 15 by 8. Rearrange this minus 5 into 8 goes in the numerator and 4 comes down in the denominator. 5 1s are 5 3s are 4 1s are 4 2s are. So what do we get tan theta as? Mod of minus 2 by 3 and what does the mod do? It gives you the positive value, acute value 2 by 3. Therefore, tan theta is what? 2 by 2. The angle between them can be found out by finding the value of theta. And what is tan theta? Tan theta is 2 by 